There are surprisingly a ton of different options on Amazon for um, solar panel, bird, critter guards. This comes in six different options. There's a six inch by 100 foot, an eight inch by 100 foot, and then you can get it without any clips, or you can get it with 60 clips, or you can get it with 100 clips. So this is the six inch by 100 foot solar panel bird slash critter guard roll kit. 60 fastener clips. Used for bird slash critter proofing solar panels, removable without damage. Um, if your solar panel system is a little bit higher off the roof, um, I would recommend going with the eight inch um, option. And if you have squirrels, I would also recommend going with the um, 100 clip rather than the 60. The squirrels can really pull at things and tear these off. They do have an option which is cheaper to go with the six inch 100 foot without any of these clips. I've seen a lot of people take hex screw, a self tapper with like a washer or a pan head and um, screw this mesh to the side of the solar panels, which can work and it'll obviously be stronger than using one of these uh, clips that could potentially pull out or fall off. I would however caution that um, screwing this mesh to your solar panels for one can be dangerous and two, the uh, screwing into the side of a solar panel will void the warranty. Um, another thing to consider, not all solar panels have a nice lip that this can catch. Um, some solar panels kind of have a rounded frame um, on one side or all the sides of the panel. So you may want to go check it out. It's a uh, PVC coated steel mesh. But let's, let's go ahead and uh, get this installed. Before I get started, I just wanted to go over safety. Please remember, even if you turn off your inverter, a lot of the conductors under the array are still live. If you don't have fall protection, go to the pawn shop, go to the hardware store, but please invest a little bit of money in a harness and tie off when you're on the roof. The number one place where people get hurt or have an accident is transitioning from the ladder to the roof or from the roof to the ladder. So let's go ahead and get started. Kind of mark where your corner's at, pull it away, bend it at a real nice 90. That'll make things look better and hold together a lot better. I like how you can kind of drag this away from the roof, kind of angling it down and then push it. And then you can slide this in and then sw slide the washer on and then you can pull it kind of tight and it tends to kind of bow up against the roof a little bit. Makes it feel like as it's making contact right here, it's bent out a little bit, kicking it out, but it feels like nice and sturdy, like you have some tension, like it's not gonna just fold under or anything like that. It's definitely small enough that it kind of keeps the bees out. So, I, I don't know, I'm really impressed. Take a look, see what you think. Uh, finished up product. These clips look fantastic. I'm, I'm leaving those spikes out because I think it adds a little bit more of a deterrent for the birds kind of trying to nest in the corner because I'm worried about kind of on top of the array. I used about two to four per panel. You want to make sure that this screen goes from the roof all the way to the top of your solar panel. If it's too short, it's going to slide under the solar panel and it's not going to be sturdy. Another thing you want to consider is buying some zip ties. 
keep in mind that mo just your generic like Walmart zip ties aren't UV rated and if zip ties are out in the sun all day they'll get really brittle and they'll break so it's not a great long-term solution so I'll link um, down below all of the equipment that I'm using but a uh, kind of a crimp on uh, steel uh, a zip tie I I like and then um, also some uh, cheap plastic maybe UV rated zip ties any parts of the array you have the screen kind of overlapping so it starts here and ends here because it wraps all the way around the array I, I've used three zip ties and an extra clip I seriously can't believe how easy that installation was it only took me about two and a half hours to get this product installed for 20 solar panels um, it looks really good um, I'm happy with the quality of the product I would avoid using screws a lot of installs I see um, either the solar installer or the homeowner might take a, a tech screw and screw it through the mesh and into the frame of the solar panel. It voids the warranty of your solar panel and it's kind of dangerous if you were to pierce a wire that's like on the inside lip of the panel. There's rails that kind of support the solar panels. Um, a lot of them, the solar installers will leave them out. They won't cut them flush. In that situation, I would highly recommend not cutting the screen and then starting a new piece. Just maybe cutting down a few of the wires and kind of bending it out and notching it. It's going to last a lot longer and be a lot stronger if you can avoid um, cutting it into pieces. This didn't used to be a problem. I think the pigeons are figuring us out. They're finding out, hey, these guys are installing these $30,000 birdhouses. It's a perfect place to have shelter from the weather and from uh, predators. Once a bird moves in, it seems like they tell all their friends, hey guys, here's a perfect place. Let's all hang out. And so all the birds come in. When someone has a bird problem, they have a massive bird problem. So if you haven't seen very many birds or you think they're not moving in yet, they will. And Here's what happens in Utah. In the spring, it's really nice weather and the birds move in. It offers shelter to the late snowstorms and, and to the rain. And it starts to get hotter and hotter and hotter. Here we are in the middle of summer. It's, it is like 120 degrees up here underneath the solar panels. If you do have birds that lay eggs and make nests, they're most likely going to die underneath your solar panel system and then you're going to have a massive problem. In a bad job where I have to take the panels off the roof, fix wires that have been chewed by squirrels, or remove dead birds and eggs and nests and everything underneath the install, I might be charging a customer a thousand to two thousand dollars. This product on Amazon is like a hundred to hundred and fifty bucks. Um, it's worth it. Well, thank you for watching this video. I hope that this free content was helpful for you. If it was, please like the video and subscribe to my channel. If you do want to purchase this product, my Amazon associate link is below in the description of the video. I do make a commission off of that link from Amazon. So if you do purchase it through that link, then thank you that supports me and I appreciate it. If not, you can get on Amazon and you can you can search all the different products. There's one other product I found that I like. It's made by Heiko and they make a four inch, a six inch and an eight inch. It's a very similar product. I will see you guys in the next video.